Taurus. What up, beautiful soul? Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. This will be a general reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, First House, Twelfth House placements. Um, keep in mind that the roles can be reversed and only take what resonates. Don't try to make the story fit. Uh, if it doesn't resonate, check your Moon, your Rising, your Venus, um, or just catch me on the next one. I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do that for future content if you feel so inclined. Spirit, what do we have for my beautiful Taurus? Ooh. So it looks like maybe you have been feeling a little bit stuck or we're feeling a little bit stuck and sort of going through a period of some downtime, my Taurus, uh, with this hanged man and this four of swords. All right, this is about contemplation, rest, meditation, prayer, um, chilling. It's about going within. And so is this. This is about a divine pause, kind of keeping yourself in one place going within so that way you can figure it out maybe doing shadow work maybe working through what's what because i did just see that shadow work card here so um your current energy is the justice card the king of pentacles the queen of pentacles the seven of swords the ace of wands so i feel like Either this could be div divine counterparts or a divine counterpart coming into your energy. But what I'm really actually getting is that you are in sort of a waiting period. You're leveling up. You are going from the queen of pentacles energy to the king of pentacles energy. All right. This is earth energy, but this is really um, leveling up and mastering whatever it is you're working on. Um, I feel like you're being very strategic um, the Seven of Swords is about, you know, doing things behind the scenes, not letting everything be known. Um, <clears throat> I really do feel like you are working on bringing balance and harmony into your situation. Libra energy with this Justice card and making things happen. I really do feel like you are sort of in a pause to get it together right now, my Taurus. And it looks like you are plotting scheming and planning um working getting it done moving forward maybe this is a business idea or maybe you are just leveling up as a person and figuring out how you're going to take this acquired uh wisdom and knowledge and resources i'm hearing uh to move forward and create this balance and harmony and this um stability in your life this is actually um this is your hard work paying off this nine of pentacles i'm feeling like you're about to really step into a whole new energy here i feel like you're really gonna step into happiness and abundance harmony um seven of pentacles this is really about planting those seeds and uh watering those those seeds that you've already planted that are growing. It's about watering, you know, watering what's good in your life, really um, putting into the things that are going to bring this balance and this harmony in taking action moving forward, okay? Um, I also see the Three of Swords. So I do feel like uh, you're also leveling up in sort of a spiritual sense, doing some shadow work, working through some uh tough times or some heartbreak or some anxieties or um fear uh i feel like you are yeah stepping into a brand new cycle this is about walking away from all that no longer serves you even if it's something that you have a lot invested in okay if it's no longer serving you this is a message saying that that cycle is over 
that cycle is over. And this could even be in a marriage for some of you or a really committed relationship with the Eight of Cups and the Four of Swords. It's like somebody's got a lot put into a situation um, that they are being guided to um, walk away from here. I feel like somebody's gaining clarity. Some sort of karmic justice is coming in to your situation. And again, like I said, with this queen and this king of pentacles, um, you could be in a relationship right now where you are noticing somebody being sneaky or being deceitful or, um, yeah, sneaking around, doing some shit behind the scenes. Um, the message there is that there is balance coming into your situation. Keep listening to your intuition is what I'm hearing. But the six of swords and the temperance, this is divine balance. This is your guardian angel sort of um, overlooking this whole scene right now and making sure, look at, like I said earlier, the universe sees everything. The, the message with this card is the universe bears witness to every single action, every thought that goes on in anybody's head at all times, no matter what. And it's being recorded into the Akashic Records, okay? You think the government's bad. Um, <laughs> the universe is really, really watching everything. Okay, so there is some sort of like karma playing out <clears throat> in your situation right now. But the message here is that things are being balanced, my Taurus. Things are being balanced. So only focus on the good right now. Look, and also Spirit wants you to get a clear vision of what you want moving forward. Put it together up here and really take action. Even if taking action is just writing it down and meditating on it. Because that's going to put the wheels in motion to um, to bring this blessing in. This Nine of Pentacles, okay? Um, King of Pentacles, or Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. This is, this is riding into abundance. This is riding right straight into a blessing. Most important thing is to cut off anything that isn't serving you. Anything that's holding you back. Anything that's keeping you uh, in a funk, stressed, sad. Um, whatever, cut that off, move forward, uh, with that being your advice, I'm gonna grab an outcome and then grab some, uh, Romance Angels cards, sorry guys, I'm all over the place, yeah, outcome, the sun, divine wisdom, look, happiness and major, major, major wisdom gained, spiritual wisdom, intellectual wisdom, world wisdom, life wisdom, the sun, Shining, joy, learning, healing, growing, um, staying grounded. But this is amazing with the nine of pentacles in the sun as your outcome. Hell no, this is like big blessings coming your way. Um, can I see what you got to say for my Taurus? Forgiving and learning. Yeah, that's exactly what I was getting to. Yeah, look, deception with that seven of swords. Same, same. And don't forget the universe sees everything. So feel like somebody around you is being sneaky. I feel like you are going to work through it. Forgiving and learning. And then for some of you, um, enjoy the bliss of the holiday together and go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So for some of you, Taurus, um, there may be new love coming into your situation with this Knight of Pentacles, okay? This could be an earth sign. It's a steady offer. It may move a little slower than what you're used to, but an offer nonetheless and a stable one at that. Um, so for some of you, you're going to be forgiving and rec reconciling with somebody. But for some of you, um, you're going to be cutting somebody completely off and moving toward this new connection here. Um, so I will grab you guys a yogic path. I just saw the number 909 as well. So if you guys want to look up angel number 909, I'm sure there will be a message there for you. I know nines are about ending cycles, just like this universe. And I'm getting the chills right now as I say that. Double confirmation. So like, I feel like a lot of you Taurus, and I'm getting the chills again. So definitely um, ending a cycle, cutting off some type of situation for some of you. What do we have for my Taurus, please, Spirit? Thank you so much. Tantra. Dumavati. Let's see. Where's... Sorry if you guys can hear them puppies back there. They're crying. I'm going to feed them after I get done with your guys' reading. 
Contra Contra eighty three. <clears throat> Okie doke. You are expanding into liberation. Tantra. Moving past the dualistic mind that judges everything as right and wrong. You are headed to a greater truth that comes from integration. The structured masculine and flowing feminine within you are merging, allowing you to move forward in toward infinite consciousness. The mature masculine within you creates presence, focus, stillness, and determination. The mature feminine within you results in creativity, flow, movement, sensuality, and nurturing. Both genders require a balance of these two energies. Continue to invite in all aspects of yourself, your light, your shadows, your Shakti, your Shiva, your cognition, your intuition. And then the other message for this card is, is there an aspect of yourself that you are denying, shaming, or judging? Are you suppressing any shadow emotions such as anger, sadness, or loneliness? The wounded masculine creates feelings of separation, increased ego, competitiveness, and emotional detachment. The wounded feminine causes jealousy, gossip, low self-worth, need for external validation, and manipulation. Take a moment to reflect on what you are observing within and around yourself. Our external world is a reflection of our internal world, steering us in the direction we must examine and heal. Awesome, 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 Taurus. Amazing message. I'm going to grab you guys one more card. I do see, I do see abundance of some sort coming your way, um, an offer or something. And you got the nine of wands again. This is really about, and the strength, okay? The wounded warrior. A time of waiting. This is really about setting healthy boundaries, moving forward, being strong, knowing that you are on your karmic path and there is some sort of karma being handled right now. So be strong. Uh, know that I'm right here with you. We're all just walking each other home. Um, I love you, my beautiful Taurus. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, be sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll catch you, beautiful souls, on the next one. Adios.